Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Blurry Dave, back with another LEGO Marvel Studios set for you. And hopefully you guys saw this coming. I definitely got one out of three of the sets for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. One week left, guys. Oh, no, I can't wait. Can't wait. So, yeah, this is a $10 set. Nice. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, what was that? Um... So yeah, uh, I love this set and the packaging, like it's so cool. As usual, always love the concept art there. And of course, you get a great assortment of minifigures. So uh, why don't we get started with the packaging first. So this is the Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. Recommended for ages 7 plus, set number 76253 has 67 pieces. So I think this only took me like, what, Five, maybe ten minutes to build. Probably five. Uh, <laughs> and, of course, you get the awesome Star-Lord. And mm, I don't want to say middle-aged Groot because he's in between of, like, teenage Groot and adult Groot. So, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to call him. Like, what, what's confirmed. <laughs> um, so, anyways, why don't we get started with the minifigures. So, as usual, let's start with our awesome Chad. Chris Pratt, Star-Lord. And uh, he's got that same face as, um, actually, you know what? I, I have one of the minifigures here. Let me compare that for you guys. So yeah, there he is with his other variant from the Holiday Special Advent Calendar. Same hair piece. Um, oh yeah, same, um, but different blasters, like color blasters. Like, that's what I meant to say. Um, and you guys already know the other face, so I don't need to like... Technically show a deal, but I love the comic book accurate suit, of course. Hopefully there'll be merch out for this soon so I could get one for myself. Alright, here's Groot. He's got not necessarily armor, but like, you know, like the branches or not, necess not necessarily the branches, but look, it's like making him making him more buffier. And he's more he's more of like a like a tan color. And I don't know, I don't know if the body itself is the same, like, previous iterations of Groot. I know the head, uh, facial expression is different. And here he's got, like, two tools here, which is part of, um, table here. Which, by the way, one, we take a look at the headquarters itself. Um, hopefully the headquarters in the movie will be bigger, you know. They just had to downsize it, I guess. I don't know, like I said, we have to find out and see. So here's our table here, that's where you can put your two tools there and there's like a coffee mug and you get two stickers in here but they look pretty cool look at that you get a headlight there you get some more tools um i don't know what this is about here though like maybe genetics or whatever and uh you could actually move that so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah this makes me want to get the other two sets especially because like oh my gosh Hopefully, hopefully this movie will be good, guys. Um, obviously, I'm lowering my expectations like I did with Quantumania. So, like, like uh, all I want is just another good MCU film, right? Here's a small instruction booklet. They don't show any sets, but you do get some spare parts. All right, guys. So, that was my set review of Marvel Studios' Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the Guardians of the Galaxy Headquarters. Hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please send the post notification bell to share my content if you haven't already. Oh, and Groot, stand up, boy. And uh, let me know in the comments what other Guardians of the Galaxy merch you guys want me to get. All right, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. And remember, Avengers Assemble. All right, bye, guys.